In the background you see the sky system. Uh, what the sky system does basically is it, it traces rays uh, from the user into the atmosphere and then tries to uh, find the correct lighting based on the scattering uh, formulas. So if I press this I can change this sunlight like this. Maybe you can create a sunset. Ah, there it is. Uh, the sun here is not actually uh, a billboard or something like that. It's, it's an actual. Uh, it's the actual sun. So it's, it's coming from uh, physical calculations. So, so nothing is uh, estimated here. It's, it's all based on uh, mathematics. And as you can see, uh, we get the, the color from the light from the. Uh, it's quite difficult to see here. Really, uh, maybe I can increase the density a bit. Let me see. Oh no, I removed that shit. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the pipeline without the color correction. Quite difficult to see, maybe I'm going to go over here. Screenshots of this on the forum. Uh, what this is is basically a, uh, a painting tool. It shows how to paint uh, landscapes. It's completely black, right? It's way too dark. I guess. sunlight system over here and uh, in this case we have a bit of water it's uh, down here and now what we have is uh, basically landscape painting so what you can do is you start painting like this paint a little landscape and I'm not really sure how well it shows up on the beamer but the water is actually uh, semi-transparent so there's a volumetric breathing going on here Still, this small glitch for the tessellation, which will be removed, but for now it's, uh, it's not removed. But you can paint landscapes like this. Voila, make it bigger. Or you can just hit the key with the preset uh, landscape, like this, which is a lot easier. <laughs> Saves a lot of uh, painting. Well, the screen looks really weird to me, but uh, it's completely yellow. Which is really a shame because uh, we spent a lot of work on uh, getting the 
the shaders, right? Thank you. 